9 by 14 9 by 14 see here 9 by 14 9 by 14 is nothing but 9 by 2 into 7 2 means it should be terminating 2 means it should be terminating 7 means it should be recurring 7 means it should be recurring so answer should be a combination of answer should be a combination of are you all with me answer should be a combination of terminating plus recurring are you all with me answer should be a combination of terminating and recurring it is only terminating it is only terminating it is only recurring terminating plus recurring are you all with me this is how you can save a lot of time 9 by 2 into 7. If the denominator is a power of 2 and 5, I will get a terminating. If the denominator is anything other than power of 2 and 5, I will get a recurring. So answer should be a combination of terminating and recurring. It should be, few digits should be terminating, few digits should be recurring. First one it is only terminating. Last one it is only terminating. B, it is only recurring. So the only option left is C. Are you all with me? This is the beauty of the concepts. This is the beauty of going through A and C video course. You go through the traditional method, you will use traditional method and you will feel that why am I not clearing the cutoff. Cutoff you will not clear because the concepts which you know is not in the right way. You are going through a very ordinary method and you keep on writing the examination. I hope it is clear. Still we can do like this. Now see here. 10 by 81, 10 by 81, 81 is nothing but 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. If the denominator is, if the denominator is other than power of 2 and 5, what it will become? It will become a recurring decimal. It will become a recurring decimal. Answer should be a recurring decimal. This is eliminated. This is eliminated. Are you all with me? Right? This is eliminated. Now we are stuck in two options. Easily you can say which one is right. 10 by 81. If I assume answer as C. What is that one? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. After that how many digits bar is there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 nines I will get. Are you all with me? 3, 5, 6, 7, 8. Cross multiply. What is 0 into 9? 0. What is 1 into 8? 1 into 8? 8. Are the unit digits matching? No. What is the answer? D. 5 seconds it takes to solve this approach if you know the concept. What is the definition of terminating? What is the definition of recurring? Are you all with me? Are you all with me? Kindly reply it in the live chat. Any doubts you got till now? I hope you are enjoying the beautiful shortcuts other than just converting the decimal into fractions. Are you all with me? 10 by 81. 10 by 81 is 10 by 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. 3 into 3 into 3. I wrote 5 threes. It is only 4 threes. I hope it is clear. Kindly reply it in the live chat. Is it clear? Is it clear? This video will be available to an only the students. Old students, they can upgrade the package. You will get all the videos which I take. Today evening, there is a class from 6.30 to 8 o'clock. Tomorrow, there is a class from... Tomorrow, there is a class from 10.30 to 12. Tomorrow evening, there is a class from 6.30 to 8. Sunday, there are three sh sessions. Continuous Anil Nair's YouTube live classes will happen. Only the enrolled students will get this beautiful package which contains all the shortcuts. Kindly reply it in the live chat if it is clear. Is it clear? Everybody. Raju replied that yes, it is clear to Raju. What about other students? Other students, is it clear? Ankit, I just multiplied by using unit digit beta. Unit digit 10 into 9. Here it is. 
here it is 0 into 9 what is 0 into 9 0 unit digit is 0 what is 8 into 1 8 into 1 is 8 unit digit is 8 one unit digit is 8 another unit digit is 0 they how can they be same Download our revolutionary app for free.